let's draw a crab today. So I'm using a watercolor greeting card that is five by seven. It's folded in half. But for this section of making this crab, I'm gonna tape it down unfolded like this. So unfold it, find the end of your tape. I'm using washi tape. If you don't happen to have any washi tape at home, you can use regular tape. Just make sure you run it over something that's dusty or linty first to make it a little less sticky. You can use like painter's tape, artist's tape, any kind of tape that will release from your paper sort of easily. That is mainly what we're after. And I'm just taping all four sides, part of the tape on my art, part of the tape on my table. And this is to keep my paper nice and hot and to keep a nice little white border at the end. All right, let's reposition this camera to get you right in the right place to know how to draw this crab. The first part of the crab I want to draw is the middle. And the middle is kind of football shaped, but we want points at the end. So it's like a pointy football. There we go. And later, if you want, you can make this part very zigzaggy with your paint. That's up to you. All right. Step one, we're gonna have three sets of claws on top and or, I'm sorry, arms, and a couple on bottom. But first, let's do these little pokey things right there. And then we'll start in with this side. So we're gonna have, we're gonna start with a round shape. Then we're gonna have a tall, kind of a noodle. And then we're gonna have like sort of a fat noodle. So that's your three shapes on that side. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna go poof, noodle, and rectangular noodle. So that's good times. All right, so we've got them all kind of spaced out. Then on the bottom, we're going to have a long noodle, long noodle, and then kind of a funky little shape like that. So now we've got the places that we're going to put all of our crab legs. So let's start working on crab leg number one. And remember, this is going to have pinchers up here. So let's have that shape and this shape. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So it's kind of a rounded square thing. And then this one comes over and then we're gonna have our little painter claw. So that's gonna be like that action there. over here. And they don't have to be perfectly symmetrical because, you know, your crab just might not be real symmetrical. It's not always hanging out in perfect symmetry out in the water. There, so we're getting somewhere. We're getting the top of that crab going. So on top of this little noodle that we drew down here, we're going to kind of draw like a long tulip shape. So we'll do it over here too. We'll do a long, tall, kind of a tulip shape. And then on top of that one, we're gonna make 
parentheses, kind of. And then this is gonna just be like this little knife thing on your crab. So we're done with that leg. All right, so this last leg is gonna have kind of this piece that goes out this way and comes down. So then we'll do the same thing over here. So we'll go up and over and back in. And then on top of this, a little bump and then another little crab knife. So over here, we get a bump and then another little crab knife. So we're almost done. We just have a few more legs to go. All right, so long noodle. Off of this long noodle, we're gonna do a curve and a curve that stops a little higher and round that off. And so same thing over here, curve, another curve and kind of round it off. And then out of that one, another noodle, another noodle. And then each of those is gonna have a little bump, bump. And then we're gonna have one of those little knifey things. So same deal, curve it around and then make that edge funky. All right, last leg. This one is a bunch of round shapes. So here and here, we're gonna add one that kind of comes down like this to a little point there. And then coming around this edge is a round piece. And then we're just gonna kind of curve it around with another round piece. a big round piece and there's your crab my friends so you can come in and you can do um, a lot of other details you can give it like little spiky spiky spikes here make that kind of more jagged you can also do this with paint or marker later and then be sure you can also sign it there if you want. And there's your crab and now it's ready for paint. All right, I'm back and I'm ready to paint this crab. So let's get ready to go. I think what we need to do on most of these sections is first paint them with water. So just go straight in with water. So like, I'm gonna add just water to this crab section here. I'm gonna do pinchers first because why not? All right, so here we go with our pinchers. And I'm painting them with only water, only water. And these pinchers are gonna be like a real orange red color. So let's mix right here in the palette. Get some orange. And I want this to be a very crustacean orange. So I'm gonna mix some red with it. So that's red and orange. And I'm mixing those two together. And right now you can see it's kind of more red. So I need to add a bit of orange. So I'm gonna hit that orange again mix it until I just get that salty crab orange. So that's gonna work for me. And I don't want a lot of paint in my brush because we already put that water down. So I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna touch this to my crab. And if I wanna get in those little pokey points, I can do that with the tip of my brush. Pull 
little pieces of paint down into the pokey edges of this claw. I went out of bounds a little there, so I'm going to just drag it. All right. Next section, we already put water there too, so we're going to go ahead and let that get orange. And I'm going to roll off a little bit of this color. Just want a, like a light coat on there. All right. Now let's go ahead and let's do this leg here. So I'm only painting water. And I'm trying not to touch that section up there. This part of my crab is going to be blue. Now your crab can be any colors you want it to be. This is your art. You just take your crab wherever it's going. So for this part of the crab, we really just don't want a lot of color. We want a very light blue wash. So that is what I'm getting here. Take some of this blue and I'm just gonna dab it and run over these areas of my crab. And I'm gonna barely touch the edge here and see what happens. We, we want a lot of melty crab goodness. I don't think we need to start in with water. I think we can just go straight in with paint and we are gonna be just fine. So let's hit just let's hit all these legs. All these leg sections. We got too much partying happening here. Alright, so let's just get all of these little sections here with our light, light watered down blue. Crabby, crabby, crabby. Just this light watered down blue. And we're going to hit all of these sections with our light watered down blue. adventurous part of our crab adventure but here we are it is a necessary part you can see this drying here and it's really very pretty I am very happy with the way it's going so far all right so now that we've got that blue going I'm gonna get another bunch of blue and this is gonna be another very light color a lot of brown because you see how it takes it to a uh, dark color very quickly. So I want to keep it kind of blue but I'm going to use this for this middle part of my crab. It's a little bit of a different color. 
So keep it super duper watery through here. So now we kind of have a base layer done on our crab. So I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna start adding maybe a little yellow to this crab, but it's gonna have to be like the lightest yellow ever. Super duper light yellow. Maybe a tad of this color in it. All right, so I'm gonna just gonna kinda dab this color in here and there. I'm not gonna mix it. I don't wanna blend it. I just want it to be there. And then let's take this color and let's also run it kind of through the middle of each of these sections. So we're just sticking it on the middle. We're not doing anything real complicated with it. We're just setting it there. And we'll do that on these ones too. And just setting it down. Also over on this one, just giving it a little personality. And then let's create an orange color. Let's put some orange in there and make like this really super light brownish orange. So it's a light orange. Add some of that brown to it just to make it like a, a very dull orange. And I'm going to take this and run it down the sides of these guides here. We're going to give this some teeth. Do these guys with a little bit of this orange. And I'm not being real careful here. I'm just like dropping it down. Let's get in our super orange. This is our reddish orange. We're gonna put a little more of that here in the claws. Cause this claw should be super orange at the top. So we want super orange, super pointy there at the top of this crab claw. Super orange. So wherever you've got claws, that's orange. get some like darker blue. Let's make a dark blue. And we'll mix a little bit of this color in. So this can be darker. We'll just mix it with that. This can be darker. And we're gonna bring this blue kind of here in this section. Oh paint party. That's okay. We'll dab it all around this upper section. Maybe kind of here, there, throughout. These crabs are, um, their shell is going to be a very irregular color. It's not all normal, all perfect colors. And then we'll take and just add a little more blue there, a little more here, maybe a little there, a little there kind of wherever we've put these little yellow pieces, that yellowish brown, we'll add some dark blue near it. And 
just see what happens. I'm dabbing my blue next to all of the places where I put down that yellowish color. And if the yellowish color is dry, don't worry about it. This is all supposed to look very shaded and irregular. So we're cool with that. And so while I'm at it, I'm going to put some more blue on these sections. So we'll put it on these long legs and we're still in this dark blue. So that's going on all of the long little legs. And then let's do that up here too. I'm going to add some blue, some blue, blue, and blue. And just kind of anything you do to one side, also do it to the other side. And that'll keep us sort of in check. And it, it doesn't matter where you put what color kind of really at this point. We just want a lot of the different colors going on, um, making a fun little pattern. So then what's next? Let's mix up maybe a little bit of black over here. So I'll show you. So this is some black. And we don't really need a lot of black because it gets very strong very quickly. So let's do black and then let's pick up some of this kind of navy blue color. Um, possibly all of it. Let's just it up and mix and go from there. So see how that's still really black? Let's just mix it in here and we'll get what we get. Perfect. So let's make sure we don't have too much black in there. And I'm just going to kind of dot this around these edges where I want my crab to be a little darker. through the middle and then anywhere that I put that dark blue I can take a little black and just drop it there you don't have to blend it you can just drop it and it'll shade for us very nicely it'll just kind of crawl into the different places like all of these paints to react. So now I'm going to bring on just a tiny smidge of this black and I'm going to come up here in this claw and I'm going to add it here just to give it a little bit of different color and blend it up. to dry a little bit so oh no I don't have my fan I'm just gonna use the lid of this and we're gonna dry our crab space over here so that is not super surprising is it so the reason that I want this underneath part to dry is because I'm gonna go over it with some more of this orange to bring some orange into some other places on our crab 
but I really need this paint to be a little drier before I do that. Walking into my water jug. And if you have a hair dryer, this is an excellent time to use it. You can always do that. Um, I'm going to bust out my embossing gun and I'm going to dry this and I will be right back. Alright, so we're back and now that this crab is dry, we can go back and some extra pizzazz. All right, so I'm gonna take this orange and I'm gonna give this crab, um, let's see, is that too dark? No, I think that'll be fine. So I'm gonna give this crab a little bit of extra little fun dots. So I'm gonna put some, like some orange here here, kind of here, and I'm going to kind of define each of these little sections with just some orange dots. And you know what? I think they're too dark, so I'm going to kind of just wipe them off. Whop. There. So you can take, take paint away by using your paper towel. Um, and then let's water this down a little bit. All right, so now let's go, let's kind of just put a little bit of the red there. So I'm just kind of placing some dots. And let's see, maybe along this edge and along this edge and this edge and this edge to give it a little tiny bit of contour and you don't need that much. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. So that edge and then this top edge and then what do we do over here? This edge and down and then this top edge and let's do these little bumps too. Cool. So our crab's looking pretty crabby. I'm going to take some orange and I'm going to add some little like spiky dots. So I'm just really getting in there with the tip of that brush and putting in these little details. So that's just the tippy tip of that brush. And then we can do kind of the same things down here on these legs. I'm just kind of outlining a tiny part of them. And we'll do the same thing here. So make a little kind of a little L, a little L, a little L. And then on these ones, we'll outline the like the curvy parts of them. So this edge is kind of curvy, and this edge. And you don't have to use a lot of paint. We just want to throw a little bit of that orange in there. So same deal. So we had, what did we do? We did kind of the outside to the inside. So we'll just do this kind of this bottom curvy part of all these. So this is just really, we're just pulling it together. We're kind of just saying we added some orange up there. Let's add some orange down here. And it's gonna dry, remember, a little bit lighter than when we put it on. So don't worry too much if you feel like that is a lot of color. So I'm just dabbing and there we go. And then I think let's do one more 
of just the spikiness there. And I'm gonna kind of pat this in. I'm just patting this in and I'm gonna pull these little spikes out so we make sure that our claws look very sharp like any well-respecting crab would want their claws to look, right? And then blend that a little bit and make this edge just really very reddish orange, like it would be in real life. And now I'm very happy with the way this crab looks. And I do wanna get some background in here. So this is an optional thing that you don't have to do if it's scary, but I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna mix blue and green because I wanna make kind of an oceany teal color. So I'm mixing this blue and green together. Ooh, I love it, look at that. Get a little more blue in there. There we go, and this is super watered down. So lots of water in this. Lots of water, there we go. And I am just ever so carefully, so carefully. Coming along and just suggesting a pattern of water back here. And we can do this dry brush business so we don't get any paint too dangerously close to our um, incredibly beautiful crab. And we just want to barely approach the crab. I did it. I touched the crab. Dad, come in. And then we can come in here. Same thing. We're not touching this crab. This is kind of a nice place. If you want to throw down some salt, you can in these corners here where the paint is a little wetter. So I'm gonna throw a little salt down here just because this crab is um, so salty. And I am not touching the crab. I'm not touching the crab, I'm not touching it. I'm afraid I'm gonna to touch it, but I'm not touching it. tippy tip part of that brush. Maybe if we go away with our brush strokes from the crab, we'll feel a little better about that. We'll probably go back in afterward and outline the crab. So. is a tiny bit. I'm not going to be super upset. All right, so anywhere this is wet, I'm going to go back in and throw a little salt. And where it's not wet, I can make it a little wet. We don't need a lot of salt, just a little. So just kind of re-wet what you've already put down if you want to use some of the salt to get that really interesting background. And it doesn't matter if you go over the salted area with um, your paintbrush with water in it. It'll, it's not going to make a difference. It'll just dissolve the salt and continue to give you that little effect that we get from the salt on the paper.
So I like to just keep a little salt in my fingers and then as I go and I put um, water and paint on the page, I'll throw some salt in it. This whole section has dried out so I need to re-wet it. Get some up in these little corners. This is fun. Alright, so I'm going to re-wet this. I can't remember if I put salt here. this dries I can kind of edge closer to my crab without severe consequences. But if you're not comfortable doing that do not worry about it. Just leave a little white space um, and you won't have any problems. All right so the main goal is to not get salt where I have the crab. Um, but sometimes it gets on there and that's fine. This is all a very kind of a loose artsy look that we have here. So we can have a little bit of, um, you know, what we might see as mess ups. It still looks pretty good. It's still a, a very nice recognizable crab. Um, and I think you'll be pleased with the outcome. All right. I think that is a good deal of blending the blue and the green. I am super duper happy with the way these colors came out. So now we can throw some speckles on here. This is my favorite thing to do. So I'm gonna get blue and I'm just gonna go straight back in here. I'm gonna water it down some. Um, and I'm gonna tap it on another pencil that I have. So that gives us these cool little spots and splotches. And that's my favorite thing to do. If you've painted with me before, you know that I love throwing speckles on my painting at the end. Some people don't like to do it, and I don't think that you have to. Um, if you don't like it, you should skip this step. Speckles aren't, they're not for everyone. I understand that. Sometimes you can't really be messy where you are, um, and that that's a problem with speckles because they kind of get everywhere. But since I have an art desk, and if you have any speckles that are too big, just go water those down. redefine some of these edges. You don't have to do this. You can leave your crab as is and your crab will be absolutely fine. 
So I've gone in and I've kind of brushed off salt that's remaining because I don't want to go over that with my pen. But what I want to do is define some of these lines here. So like here, and I'm not going to make a perfect line. I'm just going to like kind of scratch it. So I'm just making like almost just a little suggestion of a line. And I just want to outline these areas a little bit better. your plain watercolor look then I think you should leave it as is. I just want a little more definition for my crazy crab. And I may regret this but if I don't try it I will not ever know. you right there that's fine and there are some places where my watercolor has kind of taken a different shape than where my pencil was initially and that's kind of what I'm trying to work on here is just to kind of define these little sections Over, um, but there's our little crab. 